Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz. We're back again today with another video for you guys. Today, we're going to go over the portal weights that um, Fox RC88 from Instagram sent to me. Um, once again, I cannot thank him enough. I appreciate you sending them to me. In that last video, if you remember, I said I was going to paint these black. Well, I bold faced lied to y'all um, because I knew that I wasn't going to paint them but that I was gonna have my boy George, or Jorge, up at Exotics Powder Coat in Kernersville, North Carolina. He just did them BK08 for me. So like a, they call it semi-gloss, but it's not really got much of a sheen to it. But I think it'll go with the axles really well. He did a real nice job going back and cleaning up, taped off the backside so nothing got in there. Obviously these two top holes are through holes. So I told him I would clean those up. So what I will do, take your favorite handy dandy drill on speed two for a full dig. Um, I believe this is how you do it. Um, and get it started real fast. And then you try to hit the hole at full speed. So you want to get full dig all the way. And then you want to, bam, jump in there, you know, bam, jump right into the hole. At least that's how RC boy tells me to do it. Um, if any of y'all remember seeing RC boy with a drill, he taught me how to use a drill. But nah, on a real note, all you need is speed one. We go in through the back, find the right drill bit size, and just very easily go through there and clean those holes out. Not trying to take any material off, just trying to clean up any of that powder coat inside those holes, at least smooth it out. And the bolt should go directly through that, no problem. I've already done these other three, so these came with their own bolts. I'm assuming I should use these. They're all two millimeter heads. So got my favorite screwdriver, you know, that MIP speed bit saves a lot of time. We'll, we'll finish torque it with our handheld MIP. But let me get this truck torn apart and I'll come back to you once we get these things put together. All right. so. I've not watched any videos on how to do this, so I was just kind of looking at the front of the truck to see the best way. Well, these two bolts right here on the front are very easy to get to, obviously. These on the back, not so much. Well, instead of fighting these on the truck, I figured, hey, it's just a top and bottom, and they have their own little spacers that go in the plastic, their bushings, and the steering linkage and then on the on the other side since the steering linkage was already taken off this long one i just took the steering linkage to the servo off we'll leave that on because i can flop it out of the way and i can still get to the back of all these so that's just the way that i did it i don't know if that's the correct way to do it you know, we'll get these all lined back up. You just have to put your stub shaft back in. That's what she said. Um, and then once you do that, you'll be, you know, it, it should go back together just as easy as it came apart. So I'm going to get these pulled apart. If I run across anything crazy, I'm going to come back and show you guys. I wanted to show you guys this. So this is probably the toughest part. Nothing really to it, though. When you get your plastic housing off, you're going to pull it off, obviously, from your inner housing with all your gears. You want these gears to stay with the assembly over here. That bottom gear needs to stay down. Um, you're going to take your bearings out of this. And basically, the way I did it, the big one down low, you can push it. There's a, there's a lip all the way around the inside of this that you can push down very easy. It pops right out top one comes out fairly easy as well just use some tweezers and i just kind of put it in there and work my way around in circles and eventually popped right out 
when they're going back in, make sure you're going into a harder material, even though soft, brass is soft when it comes to metal. Um, you're going in a hard material, so you need to make sure those things are lined up, and then you kind of want to work back, back and forth across from each other and kind of wiggle it back down in there. These will probably be pretty tough to ever get out of there because they're machined so tight. But they went in there with no problems. You know, worst case scenario, you decide to go a different route, go buy you a couple bearings. It's no big deal. It's not the end of the world. But they went straight in. So I'll get these put back together. I already have this one just pushed together. So you kind of see how it goes on. So we'll put the screws all in the back. And once I have that all done, I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like all together. We did run into a little bit of trouble. Hopefully we can avoid this trouble with a future upgrade we're about to do. Um, not really. Uh, I don't, I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of think it's 60-40 uh, whether it's going to work or not work. But basically these wheel hubs or these, these portal weights, they went on super clean. Everything looks great. Got everything back together. The problem is when you go to put this particular wheel on, it has a bunch of bolts real narrow down in there and it actually hits before it bottoms out on the hex just barely so we have another upgrade coming but we did get them on there they went on there very easily they look really good they add 90 95 grams per piece so call it with the powder coat that's the more additional grams, uh, call it 200 grams. We just put on the front of this TRX four. If I can't use these, what I'll do is for a subscriber out there. If you have something that, you know, will fit under these wheels or, um, you know, just a brass, regular brass cover, and you want to step up to these big heavy weights that I already have powder coated, um, I'll trade you straight up, but I'll let you know that when I get there, it'll be in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. Once we get to that point, I'll let you know whether I made it with the wheel made it work or whether I need to uh, go a different route. But like always guys, if I told y'all something wrong or y'all know a quick fix to that wheel problem, put it down in the comments. Tell me how dumb I am, why I didn't know. Um, I'm going to keep these two off the truck for the time being due to there's no, I, I was really only going to do fronts first anyway, but I definitely don't want to put them on if I'm going to have to pull them back apart again. So um, like, and subscribe to the channel guys. And like always um, turn that notification bell on so that you're notified every time I put a video up and until next time guys, y'all have a good one.